Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo, getting ready here to do your next love reading, next installment of the drama in your life. Um, so this is a channel for Virgos and Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you're new, do hit like, share, and subscribe in the video. I would greatly appreciate that. Be mindful that the messages are um, general. Okay, so they may or may not resonate, just depends on your situation. And if you want to get a personal reading, though, there's a link in the description box below. Also, I'm going to start doing um, paid mini readings uh, very soon. I just have to figure out what day I'm going to do them. So I will be letting you know. Watch out for that. Okay. Um, for those of you who have not joined my channel or don't wish to join the channel, you'll be able to just pop in whenever you like and get a paid mini reading with me, okay? I'll be live, going live. So I'll let you know when that's going to be, when I'm going to start doing that for the summer. All right, forget all that. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see what the messages are here for you. For, let's see, we are now in the fourth week of May. So from this point on, going into June, okay? messages oh so we've got one that popped out here wow you've got love beautiful we like love okay unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction all right let's see i know you can't see it that well but as i said i'll show the cards to you as we go so there's a love situation here obviously either you're loving yourself more than ever right now unconditionally um, feeling one with the universe there's passion affection attraction so this could be somebody feeling this way about you or you just having this feeling for yourself um, or you having this feeling for another person so let's see what the rest of the messages come out here okay we've got mask it's interesting because when I started shuffling the cards before um, I started your reading this was in the deck upright and I flipped it over and shuffled again and then somehow it showed up again and then I put it back and now this is the third time it showed up so somebody here has love for you and they're not <laughs> they're not showing how they feel mask not showing true feelings or gaslighting um, hiding pretending deluding somebody really has strong affections for you Virgo okay and they're not showing it though they're wearing a mask they're hiding behind a mask okay let's see interesting how this is gonna go this is interesting let's see and we're gonna find out who this is in your reading another message for Virgo please okay whole bunch drops so we're just gonna take top one the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship and love bombing well there you go okay there you go um, either someone is, you know, wearing a false mask and this is someone who's, you know, very self-absorbed type of person. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. This is, you're dealing with someone here that's just all about themselves. That's, that's it. That's it. This person, whoever this person is self-absorbed loving themselves totally attracted to themselves attracted to their 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 view of themselves in the mirror okay probably like are taking selfies all the time and and just you know putting them out there for the whole world <laughs> one-sided love bombing energy coming through here okay this is starting out lovely so obviously we're starting with some kind of shit stain reading so let's keep it going and see who this person is okay because at first i was really feeling like you know uh, <laughs> at first with just the one card it was looking good and then the mask not showing true feelings but when this golden mirror shows up now this just in context with the other cards this is just somebody who is just totally loving up on themselves so maybe you know this person maybe you don't or maybe you'll meet them you know the one thing you're going to notice about this person is that they are an attention seeker big time attention seeker this does not sound like someone you should be getting involved with well whether you should or shouldn't is really up to you but you know um this person just hides their emotions and seeks validation and attention through um 
with the world's a mirror, the golden mirror. So, um, you know, reflection through um, looking at themselves, very just focus on themselves all the time. It's weird. Like, I don't know if they're just, they, they every time they walk past the mirror, they got to check themselves out. Um, very insecure type of a person. That's what it feels like. Someone is just super, super insecure, super insecure. Just always got to make sure they look perfect. They look right. They could be a selfier um, person like that. Like uh, always got to be seen in some way. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I, I can't even with these readings. I really can't. Let me see what's going on here. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords the death card and the queen of swords okay for some of you this could be another female could be a friend um <laughs> man i just they gave me the word try hard this is someone who's a try hard they try so hard they work so hard to try to um keep themselves relevant okay um, through validation from others. I don't really even, do we even want to keep going with this reading? Um, Virgo, I feel like you, if you don't know who this person is, if, if, all right, so we'll put it this way. If you know who this person is, you're getting real with this person. Queen of Swords, you're taking on this sword energy. You're like calling somebody out on their shit, telling them that they're a gaslighter, telling them that they love bomb, telling them that, you know, you're not playing any games here. They say they love you, but they got this false mask. And, um, you know, this could be somebody that you're working with or that you're communicating with coming up. Ten of Swords. It's like, you know, I feel like you're putting this person in their place. Um, that they're just full of themselves. <laughs> you're calling somebody out. That's what I feel like you're doing here with this Queen of Swords. Now, you could be in, this could be somebody else as well. It could be an air sign. Um Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have death card, could be a Scorpio, whoever this person is, it's just, it's, it's like too much, I'm feeling like somebody is loving themselves way too much, okay, um, but they really don't love themselves, like not really, they just keep seeking this validation from other people to find out that, like the more validation they get, the more that the masses approve, the more they feel like, oh, okay, like they got to check with other people to make sure that they're good enough rather than having that like internal dialogue with themselves and saying, you know what, um, without seeking validation, just saying, hey, you know what, I, I am good enough. And if people don't like it, you know, there's a door. No, this person can't sit with themselves. They can't just say to themselves or seek spiritual guidance or really th there's a lack of belief in self so this constant looking in the mirror this constant showing themselves to other people this constant seeking attention um without that this person as soon as they lose it then they go f they have to go find it somewhere else this is what i feel like it, it seems like a real psychological problem um and i just heard this person tends to say well everybody always betrays me people always leave me and it, it just kind of feels like they bottom out and then and then they get back up and then they go attention seeking again i don't like this i don't like this person's energy okay you might be communicating with them yeah see this person comes in with the knight of wands energy you know lusty coming after you um, in and out kind of energy they reach out or they come towards you and they will be coming towards you um, they're just it's like it's weird I just kind of feel like this person um, I see them coming at I see them coming towards you to try to communicate with you and, and get that validation from you or seeking approval from you like they're reaching out is this kind of like to see if you're still there they kind of like think about what they're gonna say to you maybe they'll write something or text something to you and but I feel like going forward if that energy comes up you're gonna call this person out here you know like I, f I feel like you're gonna be really honest with them and direct and just say you're only calling me you're only reaching out because you're seeking some kind of validation that I accept you and Virgo I, I feel like you're way above that I feel like whoever this person is like 
you did accept them, you do accept them, you will accept them, but it's, you're not going to accept that kind of behavior where there's like an opportunist or somebody who is um, using, using you, okay? Like as if you're the source that they derive all of their energy from and then they it's like vampire energy and they, they drain you, you know? Um, and I feel like, you know, Virgo, for you, you got to put your sword up really with this person. If this, they coming in like this, you know, you, you just got to <laughs> kind of like block them in a way and, and just stop giving your energy to somebody who keeps draining you, you know, like... <laughs> Now you're giving me an image of a refrigerator. You know, your refrigerator absorbs a lot of electricity, right? You know, all the cold air, the, the generator that's in there, whatever. I don't know how, I don't know the mechanics of a fridge. But, you know, the majority of your bill, I believe, even even a even an energy-saving refrigerator still drains a lot of power. But the thing about it is you get something out of that refrigerator you know you don't you don't have it there in your kitchen for nothing you know you it's got goodies in it you know so and so what I'm trying to say is like this person is draining not only your energy but all the goody, goodies that you have that you're you you have available to this person like you're 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 keeping all, everything cold and chill for this person you know, so it's fresh and clean when they come in to drain all that energy from you. You got to like empty that fridge, man. And just like, there's nothing here, buddy, <laughs> pal, sweetheart. There's nothing here for you to take. Like you got to go to your source. You got to, yeah, I see you telling this person, you know, you got to find your, your light somewhere else because I cannot just keep filling up that fridge for you. You know, I'm going broke. <laughs> And sometimes the stuff that comes through, look, here you go. So you've got the nine of wands, just bam, boundaries up, hardcore blocking. No, you can't come into my kitchen, you know? Um, so I feel like you're going to be doing that. I see you doing that with this person. I do see whoever they are. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a lover, a spouse, it could be an ex, whoever this person is that you recognize or it resonates with you that this person comes in with this you know, reaching out to you because they need that fix. This person's like an addict, um, very codependent, and they need that fix. And every time it falls apart, I feel like you're going to put a stop to it here. I see you with the Ten of Swords and the Death card. It's like, no, you're done. You're done. And Virgo, you're just telling them that's it. It's dead in the water. There's nothing here. Okay, there you go tower boom destroying this whole you know thing <laughs> destroying this whole thing so virgo i don't know who, who this message is for specifically but i really feel like you're i really feel like you're just in this position now where you know you're telling whoever it could be a person place or thing or it could be a bunch of people like you're recognizing that your energy is very, very important and you need it to keep you going. Okay. Um, and this person, I don't feel like it's, so I don't feel like this is something you would normally do. I feel like normally you, um, some of you might just not want to rock the boat, not want to call somebody out. But if you got that, if you know that singer Pink, she's a Virgo. If you get that Pink style about you, you might just be like, like that, you know, calling somebody out. And I, and if you don't have that in you, I feel like somehow you're gonna have that in you, to just kind of stand up and tell somebody, no more of this. This is done because this is unhealthy. You know, this person, I feel like they either they gaslight you or they love bomb you. They tell you that they love you or they are like, they want to be with you and you know, they have affection and they're very attracted to you, but they're giving this false love to get this appreciation and love in return. So I don't know. It just, it doesn't feel genuine. It doesn't feel sincere. So whoever this person is, like keep your eyes peeled and recognize that 
you've got conflicts right here, okay? So the, there's a fight. There's some kind of fight that's going to break out, okay? Somebody's getting told off. Look at those dragons, fire-breathing dragons, okay? You might be saying this to a group of people or maybe some friends, you know, or just in general. Um, maybe it's like people you're on social media with. It's like everybody's so gaslighting each other and all, only cares about themselves. Some of you are just having this spiritual upgrade where you're like, I'm done with social media. I'm sick of looking at all these selfies. It's so hard to find somebody. You're meeting people online and everybody's just full of themselves. And, you know, this may not be an ex. This may not be anybody. You might just be getting honest with yourself and saying, I am out of here because everybody on, you know, or you're on dating sites and you're seeing that. And everybody you see is only there for themselves. So some of you, you might be connecting with someone online. They're not trying to meet. They're just trying to rack up all these, you know, prospects. And then they're just kind of rolling them through the roller decks, whoever's available at the time. I feel like a lot of you are just having these major changes. Okay, we've got the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So some of you could be talking to a King of Cups who's very deeply sensitive and emotional. Um, this usually comes in the form of Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be somebody you already know or you could be connecting with going forward. Um, there's some kind of new initiation or new start happening here. Some clarity and truth um, comes to this person. All right, let's see what's going on. Wow, yeah. Okay, they are very insecure. This person is trapped in, the, they're trapped in this cycle. They're trapped in some kind of prison is what I feel like is going on here. Um, this prison, this cycle that just keeps going around and around. I, Virgo, I just feel like mostly you are, you're setting the record straight with somebody here. You know, I don't feel like you're angry though. I feel like you're just like, okay, I see it clearly now. You know, I see it clearly. And you're just, with that one sword, you're just cutting through everything. Cutting through the clouds, cutting through the bullshit. I mean, the bullshit's so thick. You know, you cut it with a butter knife and you're just cutting through it here. And the truth of the matter is, this person's so insecure and, and so, a self-imposed prisoner, like they keep themselves stuck. But they, they, they don't have to be stuck. But they're, you know, they're, they play... Okay, they just said, you see how this is sideways, right? This is like damsel in distress on this on the tracks, on the train tracks, right? So waiting for that someone to come in and rescue them. So I feel like this person, I feel like you're going to say to them, you know, you keep playing the victim and I can see right through it. Virgos are very good at seeing through the bullshit. Very, very clear. If you don't know that about yourself, that's because you're not trusting yourself. But you need to know... Um, in the Zodiac, Virgos have the most amazing clarity. They have that inner knowing. That's why Virgo, even though Virgo is the hermit card because it go within and they, they seek wisdom and knowledge, they also have the high priestess that represents them, which means that inner knowing, you know? The only thing is, Virgo, you do not usually want to come out of hermit mode. You know, the hermit and the high priestess are generally withdrawn, quiet, secretive, don't usually say anything, but once in a while you get a Virgo um, that's going to say something. And usually Virgo, when you've reached your breaking point um, or you've, you've like, you're at the end of the line there, then you will open up and say something. So I really feel like you're gonna call somebody out. There's conflict coming. This person's gonna be in like crazy conflict with you because you, you know, but I do feel like what you're gonna to say to this person is gonna give them a huge wake up call and they're gonna they're gonna get that clarity because you're giving them, look, you're giving them that sword right here, okay? And right next to them, and it doesn't have to be a water sign, it could be any sign, okay? But you're gonna, your clarity and your truth because you're giving them that sword, your clarity and truth is gonna to get to them deeply right? Because of very deep feelers about that, the issues that they have, right? So you've got the devil card here. So there you go. Toxic energy, addiction, obsession, control, anxiety. Um, this person, the devil's got their claws in them. The devil is the author of confusion. The devil is the only one who is the author of confusion. If you're confused, it's because 
the devil's got you confused. Okay, you can look it up. It's true. Or what did they say? The de the devil is the not the father of confusion, the the author of confusion. I think that's what it is. So um, there's okay. So this Capricorn energy as well. So uh, that's what's happening to this person. Okay, something got a hold of them. Some kind of toxic something or other got a hold of them and i feel like you're calling that out you're calling out that toxic ish or some of you you may not be trying to have some dialogue some of you are just telling this person um you know you're you're not down with this i'm not down with the lies i'm not down with the confusion i'm not down with the self-absorbed insecurity and that's what you're bringing to me and it's done i'm over don't come back i'm out of here that kind of thing um and even if this is you know it can go the same if this is somebody you're meeting or you you or have been talking to okay you're <laughs> virgo you're just on a whole new level you're on a whole new level especially going into june okay on a whole new level but you're definitely going to tell this person you know you need to get your shit together you know um a devil energy can be very narcissistic, have very uh, ego um, traits. You know, there's a saying from a movie, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he doesn't exist. And this person um, may come to you and it may, it, I just get a sense that some of you will get a feeling of like, okay, I, I see this person, but something doesn't feel right. Something's off and I can't really pinpoint what it is. Well, that's because the devil's attached to this person, right? Um, the, the devil's the great escape artist. And when he takes his people, right? And, and this is a very energetic thing. When he takes a hold of people, um, he causes them to believe that they're not at fault or that there's nothing wrong. Like it's a very egocentric kind of thing. He confuses the people that he gets his claws into, yet he instills fear as well. Okay. So some of you are going to tell this person, you know, if they got some kind of addictions or, you know, they got like fear and anxiety or insecurity or, or whatever they got to heal. Yeah. I feel like that's what you, you might tell that person. You need to get into recovery or you need to get, you know, in, you need to like renew your damn soul, renew that source energy. You need to like get rid of, you know, get that contract, expire with that devil and get something new, get some healing with the four of swords. Okay. Um, get some solitude. Like you need to figure out what you're doing. I feel like that's what you're going to say to this person, you know, and I do feel like they're, they're definitely going to say, yeah, I think you're right. They're going to have a light bulb moment. Definitely. I think that um, um, I think that from coming from you, for some reason, it's going to give them a wake up call. Um, I don't know if they've had other people tell them this. They may have, but maybe you are like the straw that breaks the camel's back. That's what I feel like is going on here, because you're coming in with this truth, right? Win win solution for you. You're coming in with absolute truth, but you're, I feel like you're being fair. Like I said, I don't feel like you're going to be mean to this person, but I feel like you're going to call somebody out on their shit. If somebody's playing games with you, you know, um, or coming in with lies, telling you that they love you, but they're not like showing it. No bloody stumps here. They're just all talk, lip service, left, right, and center. Libra and energy here. So, okay. Yep, some of you are going to tell this person, you know, I've been thinking about this. This is how you're going to start it. I really do feel like you're going to start it with, you know, I've been, I've been mulling this over and I got to be honest with you. Um, you're an asshole. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. You're like super insecure and you're taking advantage of me and you're not, you know, like I'm not down with that, you know, full Virgo mode, full Virgo mode, no holds barred, throwing punches, not literally. Okay. I feel like you're going to jab this person a few times and just, you know, give them what's what about their behavior towards you. Okay. Um, now I'm going to do an extended reading on this to see what the outcome is going to be going forward with this person at the end. So there'll be a link in the description box below this video to get the extended reading. But for now, 
Let's see what else is going on here. What other messages are there for you, Virgo? Some of you are going to just be getting clarity within yourselves about somebody here. Like I said, uh, some of you might get into long talks and dialogue with this person. And for others, you're just like, mm, nah, I don't think so. I'm just going to tell them what's up. I'm, I'm going to be honest, open my mouth. I'm going to be truthful. What have I got to lose? Some of you are saying, what have I got to lose? I don't have this person. They're not here with me. So it's nothing to lose. Okay, let's take a look. What other messages does Virgo have? Okay, Chimera, imagination clouds your judgment. Okay, I feel like for some of you, um, that's a warning to you. You need to seek judgment. You need to seek judgment here. The Raven, darkness looms on the horizon. Wow. Yeah, you got something huge coming up here with someone who is a shapeshifter. You've got a shapeshifter here. And this person has clouded your judgment or will attempt to cloud your judgment. Okay. Um, they bring darkness. This person brings darkness. You got to call them out. You know, whatever, whatever is in the dark, you got to bring it to the light. And that's how you know, because, I mean, if we're going to get in horror story mode here, let me tell you what, people who, people who live in the dark, they do not like the light. And the only way you're going to know if these people who come across as being full of light actually live in the dark is by shining the light on them and see what they do. That's how you know. You have to be honest with yourself and with other people. You gotta call people out. You gotta put them in the light because people who live in the dark will, they'll scurry away when the light is shine on, sh shown on them. They will scurry away. They'll run away. So that's how you know. That's all you have to do. You don't have to play guessing games. You don't have to go behind the scenes and spy. And you don't have to, you know, play um, investigation or heart. You got to call people out. Always you got to call people out and say, this is what's going on and stop doubting yourself. The reason why you're doubting yourself is because these little dark minion people, whoever they are in your life or this person coming in, um, they keep you in the dark and you're letting them. Nope. No, 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 no. You got to start trusting yourself. Whatever is in the light, that's how you know. Okay. That's how you know. What else you got? This is crazy. I mean, it's like a horror, it's like a horror movie. Uh, the wizard, use your skills to aid others. This is like the magician, right? Use your skills. What skills do you have? Your magic skills that you have. Okay. To aid others. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta listen. Some of you gotta do an exorcism on this person. <laughs> I mean, we're getting into some serious exorcist shit here. You've got somebody here who's like possessed by demons, whether that's literally or figuratively, you know, and, and, and you know, Virgo, you've got the skills to, I don't want to say rescue, but to scare the demon out of them. You know what I mean? But you, like, that's the skill that Virgo has. Virgo has the skill of truth. Virgo, and truth is light. Truth is light, right? Truth is light, okay? So you, I don't know. I just feel like you're being called to um, just stand up you know, and just say, Hey, you know, you are first, you got to recognize, I guess, what those, what the darkness is. It's hard to recognize what the darkness is because it's in the dark. So you gotta, you gotta shine light on those things. Okay. The maiden, a new relationship blossoms. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Virgo. Oh my God. They just told me the gate a barrier keeps you from your goal. And the wolf, beware who you trust. Okay. All right, I gotta pull some clarifying cards on this because 
This is, I'm not picking up anything here and I need to find out what's going on here. This is weird. Why is this new relationship thing here? Hold on. Why is this new relationship? What is this a new relationship blossoms for Virgo? Virgo, are you going into rescue mode? Some of you are. Some of you are. Telling the truth, um, being honest with this person is actually going to save them. Maybe you're not intentionally going into rescue mode, but some of you are going to give, like your truth is actually going to save this person from their own demise. Even if you don't wind up together, that's what the, that's what the deal is. This relationship cannot blossom because of the barrier and the barrier is because you're not trusting yourself okay to tell the truth i don't need a clarifier that's what they just said you're not trusting yourself you're afraid to you're afraid to tell the truth because some of you and i'm not speaking to all of you okay some of you are afraid to to call somebody out because you're afraid that they're either going to be mad at you or they're never going to talk to you again. But it's actually going to have the opposite effect. Um, they'll, they're either going to scurry away and never come back again. And that's a blessing. That's a win. Okay. Because then you won't have to deal with that little demon energy or they're going to have like a wake up call because I do feel like there's somebody here, and I'm not saying like a full-blown narcissist, but super, super selfish and insecure. And I, I don't feel like this person even realizes that they're doing what they're doing or will realize until you say something. But you, you know, like, I don't feel like you need to come at this person and criticize until, because this person's already broken. You know what I mean? Um, that's just gonna confirm how they feel about themselves, that they're not worthy and no good. I think that for you, Virgo, you just got to be truthful, you know, um, without being critical. You can be, um, you can give firm answers without being critical with somebody here, right? Without cutting somebody down. You can just say, you know, I think you got, you, you got some negative uh, energy flowing through you or attached to you. And whatever this negative is attached to you, you're clinging on to it or it's clinging on to you. And I don't want to get that infection. I'm putting my mask on. I'm not trying to have any monkey pox or COVID or any of that shit in my house. That's all. You just, you just got to say, listen, I'm protecting myself from this. I think you're a wonderful person and you're amazing. And there's a lot of potential here, but I am not going to get, I am not coming down with the COVID or any of that mental virus whatever this sh this ish is you know what i mean <laughs> all right i don't know why they're asking me to pull romance angels but i'm gonna do it you all out here um wearing your masks and getting your vaccines you know and doing all that but your heart is like an open freaking book with people you're not protecting your heart well, you know, I keep saying that, you know, oh, I got to get my vaccine. I got to get my mask. I got to social distance. I got to stay away from everybody. But sure, I'll get in a relationship with a toxic mf -er. uh, What's that going to, you know, that's fine. No, it's not. You should be applying those same principles to your heart. You need a mask. You need to stay six feet away from people until you know them better, until you can trust that they don't have nothing or that they're not like loop-de-loop. -loop. Some of y'all need to get vaccines because you keep attracting these narcissistic, selfish, devil, energetic people. There should be a, a narc vaccine, I think. <laughs> Seriously, keep them away. A little garlic in that vial or something. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. New love. Okay. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and romantic feelings twice. Okay. All right, this is not you. This is this person, okay? And this person is going to appreciate your candor. I will tell you that. I don't know that this person is going to scurry away. Um, now, that's not going to be a message for all of you. If they do, there's your answer. 
keep it moving. Um, but I feel like this person's going to have an open mind about what you're saying. If you if you get open and honest and truthful without being critical, without being mean, but just you know basically saying you got some kind of selfish virus and I'm not trying to catch that, you can tell that to them. Um, and I feel like something's going to stir up here between two people. I feel like this person's going to get stirred up because I don't get a sense that this person get, has ever get ever gets called out or really has been called out or they have been but it never meant anything as much as it will mean from you for some reason there's something about it's either in your delivery or the just the fact that you're actually calling somebody out who thinks they're such a big shot when they're not they think they are and they present themselves as being a big shot um, and everybody just kind of flocks to them, like um, Gaston from the Beauty and the Beast. You know, everybody flocks to them. Oh, they're like, you know, lulled to sleep by this person, male or female, whatever. And yet at the same time, Virgo's like, I don't see what your big deal is. I don't see what the big deal is with you. You're just a human being like all the rest. Who do you think you are? <laughs> That's a Virgo thing. And Virgo's all like... If anybody's better, I am. <laughs> you know, what do you think? You're a hot shot. You think you're hot stuff there on social media, on Instagram, or whatever you're doing at the gym, or you think you're, you know, big time? Who the hell are you presenting yourself to be more than you are? I see right through that. You ain't nothing but stained glass. A lustful, fiery spirit. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a, ne that's a negative spirit there. This person coming in and out for that physical, that Knight of Wands energy, trying to get that, you know, boom, boom, endure and be patient. Okay. So, Virgo, you know, listen, you could just as easily say, I don't have time to deal with this, click. And there's your, there's your reading. All right. There's your reading. This person comes in. If you want to take the time to call somebody out, call them out. If you don't, then just leave. But don't hang around for any other reason. Either call them out or leave. Pick a lane. Pick a lane. You're either with them or you're not. You're either gonna, if you're gonna stay, do it, do the right thing. Call them out on their bullshit. And if they don't hear it and they don't get it and they scurry away, then you shut the door and you keep moving because they don't have time, they don't wanna hear it, they're not interested in taking a look at themselves. And then you'll know that they got that narcissistic shit going and you need to bolt. But if this person doesn't scurry away and has that light bulb moment and wants to talk about it and ask you why you think that and what's going on, then you can get truthful and have that conversation, not about them, but about you and what is and isn't working for you, right? That's all. It's all, you got to talk about yourself. You can pinpoint one thing about this person, call them out on some certain behavior and tell them you're not dealing with it anymore. They keep that behavior up, you're out. And then once you say you're gone, secure your home, lock the door and don't let them back in. Okay. Until, what do I always say? They come in with those bloody stumps. Not somebody else's bloody stumps, their own. We're on fire today. We are on fire. Whenever I get a card that's got that uh, selfishness, that gaslighting, that narcissist shit, then, then it's on. Then it's on. Because we're not dealing with that. We are not dealing with that. Okay. So there you go. New love start. That's twice. Okay. Um, does this mean um, that you guys are going to be getting into a new relationship with that person again not necessarily um, some of you might just decide you're going to call the person out say what you got to say and then go try to find a new love start with somebody else who's not possessed by the devil okay somebody who's actually um, activating those healing strategies in their life okay um, activating healthy strategies not someone who's scurrying away like a mouse running like a coward right? You, you're not trying to have that. Virgos can't, uh, Virgos just cannot really deal with that. And it's just, it doesn't make Virgos bad. It's just Virgo can't, Virgo, you are so 
clear-minded with like when it comes to truth and purity that is what virgo is the purity the truth um the you know you you like to wash out the dirt and and you know and i said this once in one of my readings you know a lot of people think that virgos are the cleanest um most tidiest most organized um, like every single day. There are some Virgos who are like that, but you have to understand something about Virgos. There are some who are not. But you have to understand, Virgos are stressed when things are perfect. Virgos tend to need things to not be perfect in order to organize them and make them perfect because Virgo seeks perfection. Virgo seeks to make things better, seeks to make things right. You know, um, that's why Virgo, the virgin, the, the zodiac cliff, the season of the fall, the end of summer is when, um, you know, the maiden has the, sh the, um, the chef. She's cutting all the wheat down. She's working. Virgos are workers. They're clearing out. They like to clear and clean and organize. You know, it, it, so it's not that they're slobs because you'll meet, sometimes you'll meet a Virgo who's very disorganized or can be um, sloppy, but there's something about a Virgo. It's like when they got to organize something or they see, it's almost like a challenge. Like they, they have to do it. They love to do it. And that's not just physical things like laundry or housework. It's organizing things in the office. It's, you know, having things in their car um, that are just right. And and even if Virgos are neat and tidy, it, even if one thing's out of place, like there's just this gratification that comes with putting things back and making things organized, you know? And that's how you are in your love relationships. It's not that you're looking for someone to be perfect. You're looking, a lot of Virgos look for fixer-uppers because they wanna help them be better. <laughs> so Virgo, you're in your truth and your honesty when you're calling somebody out on their mess. And that that's, if you're not doing that and you're unhappy, that's why because you're not living in your element it, it's a virgo to look at the mess and say yo you need to clean this shit up <laughs> your life would be so much better if you stop you know you get rid of that virus and that why do you think so many nurses are physicians and uh, and are so many virgos are nurses and physicians or they're you know in in the field of like health and purity and clean and uh, cleanliness and all that stuff your nutrition and fitness and all that because you just see what needs to be cut away so you are not you are not living in your truth if you're not calling somebody out listen to me i'm a virgo i'm calling you out right now right this is okay you must do this when somebody is acting a fool and treating you bad, you must call that person out. You don't keep taking it. How are you ever gonna clean up that mess? Or tell them to get out because they're making too much of a mess in your house. Virgo, come on. All right, let's take a look and see who this person is. Let's see what their Chinese sign. Virgos don't want perfect, that's too stressful. Okay, sign of the ox. Virgos don't even want themselves to be perfect. It's too stressful. They just strive for that, but they never, you'll never hear a Virgo say to anybody, oh, I'm perfect. Virgo is the last person to say that because they constantly see flaws. They constantly see things that need to be fixed or repaired. They constantly see imperfections. And people look at Virgo and think they're, they're, they got their nose up in the air, they're stuck up. No, that's not the case. Usually Virgo's quiet because they're overthinking or they're thinking too much about all the shit they have to do or they're too busy like scanning everything and trying to figure out where to plug up all the holes. <laughs> Year of the ox. Year of the snake. Year of the horse. Year of the dog. We got a horse again, two horses. Year of the rat. I'm gonna pull eight today. You have the snake again, two snakes. Year of the pig. Year of the rooster. And year of the goat. Okay? So that might be your sign. It could be your person's sign. It could be both of you. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have here? 
I feel like a moon message. How about a moon message? What is the moon message here for Virgo? Coming at you guys with some truth. Some days it's just all about, like, I'm a realist. People say I'm a pessimist. I'm not. I'm just a realist. Some days the realness is joy, happiness. Other days it's like, yo, facts, evidence. <laughs> Actually, nobody's ever called me a pessimist. I'm just using that as a, as a term. Like people say, um, people equate, I guess, realism with pessimism, but I don't, I don't see it that way. Pessimism is like looking at happy moments and finding the, the negativity in it, right? I, I don't, I think realism is more, and maybe I'm like, I don't, I'm not a doctor. I don't, I'm not schooled on this, but it's just my belief. Like realism, I feel like the evidence of the facts, like if it's sunny out, um, it has nothing to do with how I'm going to react to it. It's just facts. <laughs> you know, you just got to be real. And then I'll be positive and joyful if it's sunny out. A time for healing. All right, Virgo. Um, this is the en atmospheric energy here. This is healing. You getting up on your, not on your soapbox, right? Because I don't think Virgos tend to do that. But you just coming out from your hiding place and giving some truth. That's going to be very healing for you, calling somebody out, because then you'll know. You call somebody out on something, and then you see how they react. If they run away, if their lips start moving and they're telling long tales um, about something, you, then you know they're lying, then you know they're full of shit. Let them go. Let them keep on moving, because that person's going to suffer a hell of a lot more than you. Believe me. Okay, adjustments are required. Okay. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Ooh, this is it. This is it. This is it, Virgo. This is time. It's time. It's time for you to stop being in that position of waiting and being all nurse-like. <laughs> We're cleaning out closets here. Uh, if some of you think your person is um, in the closet with their homosexuality and they're acting like they're not, um, you got to call them out on it. You don't have to, but don't be mean to that person because if they're not ready to come out, then you want to be compassionate, of course. But, you know, and you want to be compassionate in everything you do, like whatever negative or if somebody's lying, because it's not about somebody being in the closet. It's about them hiding from themselves and hiding from you, leading you on to think that you're in an actual um, male-female relationship, and I, I'm not getting into genders, I can't keep up, but if they're pretending to be something that they're not, um, that's gaslighting, okay? That's gaslighting, and look out for that too. If you call somebody out on something and then they gaslight and they tell you that you're crazy, that's right here in this reading. That's when you gotta close the door, right? But I don't, not for all of you, I think somebody here is gonna you know, get the picture and they are gonna say, mm, okay, I think you might be right. Okay, we've got an Aries. Um, September 10th, September 13th. We've got a Capricorn. We have a Taurus. Uh, September 3rd. Taurus again. Okay, September 12th. September 8th. Okay. And we got the second. And somebody is 50 years of age. Okay, if somebody's 51. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We have, um, oh, 823, August 23rd. Somebody's born in 1981. Okay. Um, oh, they just gave me an address. Address number 12, 1213, they're saying. That's an address. Okay, somebody's 31. Almost lost one, you guys, on the floor again. Okay, let's see. All right, Gemini, again with the Aries. Libra, Leo showing up here. All right, 52. Um, okay, they're telling me 102. I don't know if you're 102, I don't think so. Um, okay, July 18th, we have May 4th, we have September 2nd and the 3rd. I might have already said those, okay. Um, and we have 
August 25th. Goodness gracious, August 24th. Sorry if it's so loud in your ear. I forgot my thing. Scorpio, Scorpio, double. We have um, Cancer. Okay. Um, 1967. Um, number 1309. Okay. August 30th I'm picking up. Um, there goes my light. Okay. Somebody's 41. Um, 134. Uh, 1985. Significant. June 30th also significant. All right, so if those numbers resonate with you, fantastico. Let's see what else you got here. All right, uh, Saturn. What planet is ruled by Saturn? I always forget. You would think that um, me doing what I do would know that. Hold on, I'm gonna ask. What planet is ruled by Saturn? Because I always forget um, what planet. That's not what I meant. Um, Capricorn. Okay. So we got a Capricorn. Very, uh, very prom prominent Capricorn energy here. Um, we have a dragon. Okay. You're the dragon for some of you. Um, this could be a Capricorn dragon. Okay. Diamond key. Two keys here. Holy moly. We got two keys here. Two people have the key. <gasps> Guess what? The two keys are in the Hierophant. Okay? The Hierophant has two keys. Do I have the Hierophant anywhere here on the wall? Yes. No, I don't. Um, the Hier Hierophant holds two keys, which means that... You know what? Um... I don't know. <laughs> That's so bad. I don't know. The two keys. I, why don't I know this? I can't even channel anything from it. This is bad. Hold on. I know. I know it resonates for something, but I. I don't know the actual meaning, and I never. I never actually. Um, looked it up, <laughs> or studied that. I, sh I guess this now is as good as time as, as any. Um, hold on, you guys. I'm going to look. I know you guys are, if you know it, post it there if you if you haven't. I can't see the chat, so I don't know what you're saying, but um, I'm going to find out and look for myself. Two keys under it. Symbolizing, okay, symbolizes the power to unlock the fifth element. Unlock, okay, these are the two keys to unlock the, the power to unlock the fifth element. And what is, oh, the fifth element has to do with a servant, the unseen fifth element, it's spirit, okay. It is not as tangible as the other four and if, you have doubts about its existence. You have to believe the preacher's words are correct. Okay. Um, so the, the keys represent having the fifth element, becoming the key to others' understanding and the connection. That's what it means here. And I feel like that's for you. There's something with this person um, where the fifth element is involved in this connection. And it's unseen. The fifth element is only strong if people believe in it. If no one listens or believes what is being taught, it can lead to conflict, chaos, and upheaval. The number five represents change, uncertainty, realignment, and freedom. Okay? The keys to freedom. So you have the key. And I feel like these are very strong spiritual messages here with these two keys. Honestly, this feels to me like um, there's there's something very important about this connection that needs to be revealed. Okay, definitely. There's the keys right there, sitting at the bottom of the hierophant. A very spiritual connection. The fifth element feels like um, 
The five is like supine energy, which represents, um, if you know about the, the, the four humors, the melancholic, which represents earth, the um, sanguine, which represents air, the choleric, which what represents fire, and the phlegmatic, which represents uh, water. And then the fifth element is the supine. The supine is the everlasting servant. Doesn't really have an element, it's unseen. This is the sign of the very, the person who will kind of shape shift to be whatever anybody needs them to be. They're very kind, they wanna serve, 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 but in their negative, on their, on their, on their, their negative points, they serve, they give to get, okay? I feel like there's something here to be point, pointed out. This is what I feel like is gonna happen here. This, this is you calling somebody out on manipulative behavior and telling, maybe telling them they need to seek some kind of higher spirit um, influence into their life because the devil's got a hold of them. That's a, a bad spirit on this person, okay? Um, and the, there you go, the bat, okay? And so that's gonna represent like that vampire energy is what I'm saying. Okay, vampire energy here with this bat. Now I know not all bats, but it's a vampire bat, okay? So that's what I feel like, I don't know who the hell this reading is gonna resonate for. This dragon, remember I was saying fire breeding dragons here? Okay, some a little bit of conflict, you know? Um, talking some fire here, Virgo. Getting some truth out. Hmm. And if you are a Virgo dragon, I really don't think you're going to have any problem with this, <laughs> with this to, to say something, because Virgo dragons will tell the truth, definitely. Um, well, they, they're fearless to tell the truth, okay? So if you need help getting yourself, opening your mouth and saying something, call on your dragon friends, Virgo, cause, or your roosters, holla, because we will tell the truth. Um, like we, roosters are cocky and dragons are bold. So it's not going to be a problem, right? Um, so I really feel like those are your messages. I don't know who this is, what's going on here, but you're definitely making some huge adjustments. This is you standing up, um, to somebody coming up soon. Um, I am going to do an extended though, cause I want to see if this is going to change. If anything's going to change with this connection here. Um, if somebody's going to actually have that like extreme wake up call and come out of this behavior or here if there's going to be any change from you standing up and saying something okay so the link's going to be below click on that link and that will take you over to the extended reading and then you'll be able to purchase your reading there all right you guys so thanks for being here love you very much and i will speak to you soon take care bye